Hi, it's Tegan. Okay. <laughs> I know I just uploaded my supernatural theories and unanswered questions sort of video. That one was very, very long. This morning, after that video was already filmed, after that video was uploading, Misha posted a final full trailer for Supernatural. I, none of the other cast posted it, none of the official, like, Supernatural pages posted it. Misha posted it on Twitter and on Facebook, and I watched it this morning before I went to work. I didn't record my reaction, but I really, really wish that I did because I started sobbing and did not stop the first time I watched it and then I watched it about 20 times more right after that because so much happens in it and although this isn't going to be a trailer reaction video I wanted to talk through the trailer and talk about a few things before the season premiere later today. It is currently about 12 30 a.m which means that in about 10 hours, the season premiere will be out into the world. I won't be able to watch it until later because I have work tomorrow, but in about 10 hours, the last ever Supernatural season premiere will be out into the world, and that's insane to me. First, before I go into talking about that, here's a little clip of me right after I watched the trailer for the first time. Um, <laughs> okay, the... the trailer like the full trailer for Supernatural season 15 just came out um I'm I I can't stop shaking um this season <laughs> I don't even this season is literally going to break me I don't even know what to feel right now. It's, it's literally saying Chuck's writing their ending and I think Becky's coming back. She's like, you can't do that to the fans. I wanted to document this <laughs> because maybe it'll end up going somewhere, but I... This season is literally going to break me. I don't know what to feel. I, I care about these characters so much. Okay, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I literally am gonna be late for work if I don't start getting ready now. Um, thank you, Supernatural writers, for breaking me, honestly. I, my heart literally won't stop pounding. Like, it is pounding out of my chest right now and I've only watched the trailer once. Like, I can't breathe. These are my favorite characters in the entire world. And that trailer, it looks like they're gonna, like, burn them to ash. Yeah, so, um, I was a bit of a mess. <laughs> a bit. By a bit, I mean massively a mess. Um, and I still am. And all of my shift today at work, I just could not stop thinking about it. Yeah, okay, this trailer. <sighs> I think one of the scariest things about this trailer is that there's so much in it that could either be from past episodes or could be happening all over again now. We do not know. Especially because God is the big evil. He could do anything. Like, he could make the boys relive absolutely anything that they've done in their lives. So there's the moment where Dean turns over his arm and he has the mark of Cain. Is that from a past episode or does he actually have the mark of Cain? Obviously I'm assuming um, all of the angel sort of stuff with Sam and Dean being possessed, that's all past stuff. There is the scene in the trailer where they're holding a syringe filled with blood that looks like what they used during the trials to close hell. Does that mean that they're closing hell again or is that just a past sort of thing? One of the biggest things that is like completely messing with my mind about this season is the fact that Chuck is a writer. That's how we were introduced to him. He wrote these supernatural books and that's what we're 
being brought back to. Him saying that he can do whatever he wants because he's a writer and that he's going to release this final book and on the cover is going to be just a gravestone with Winchester written on it. He's God. He... I... <laughs> thing is is that like he could do anything and then we have Becky in the background saying you can't do this to the fans it's awful horrible and hopeless the thing is is that with the way that they've framed this throughout these seasons where they first introduced Chuck as this big writer who wrote these stories about Sam and Dean's lives now Becky talking about you can't do this to the fans. And then at the end, Chuck says the fans are going to love it. They framed it in a way where they can make it seem like they're talking about the fans of the Supernatural books. But they're actually talking about us, the fans. Becky's saying that it's hopeless. I don't know what to think. There's a scene here where it looks like Dean is walking through Bobby's old car shop and there's the scene where Sam has this smug smile on his face which makes me think that he has been possessed possibly probably. There's this scene where Cass is standing over somebody's completely burnt body which looks like Rowena's body did when Lucifer burned her to a crisp and I need to know whose body that is because I am freaking out. There's just so much happens in this trailer. There's this scene at the very very end where it, it like zooms out and Dean is holding a knife and we see somebody on the ground in front of him, but they don't show us who he is, which makes me think that it's an important character that's in front of him there. Otherwise, I don't think they would have hidden him like that. And we've got Rowena sitting there with the Book of the Damned. And then there's the scene where there's two Adams sitting across from each other, which does that mean that Michael's back too? Does that mean Michael has like, like, I just... I mean, obviously Adam's back. We knew that Adam was coming back, but there's two of them. Michael was possessing Adam. Does that mean Michael's back out? What souls actually came out of hell? Did all of the souls from hell come out? Obviously, I think, it, yeah, demons and angels are down in the empty. So I'm assuming that the empty didn't get released, but I mean, we don't really know. The part where we hear Dean say, Sammy, please, please broke my heart because he sounds so hopeless and I hate seeing our boys like that. Then there's scenes where, uh, sorry, I have the laptop here. I'm just like going through and watching this like a billion times. There's this uh, scenes where it looks like they have the cult back, but that was burned. Like it, it's broken. Does that mean that they have the cult back? This scene, where Dean is quite obviously looking into the trunk of his car with a horrified look on his face, meaning that something is in the trunk of his car, meaning possibly somebody that we know and love dead in the car. I'm literally going, like every single one of these scenarios, I'm like, somebody we know and love is dead. Somebody I have grown up with, a character who I love with my entire heart is dead. That's just where my mind goes with all of these because that's just how I assume that this season is going to go. Like, I want to go into it with the absolute, like, mentality that everybody is going to die, so maybe I can be slightly surprised when hopefully not everybody dies. Freaking God's just smug face. In this scene here with the really red background, like where it's like really, really red. It, for some reason, it looks like Dean's like all like scruffy. It looks like he might have a beard there as well. What the hell is he wearing? And he's fighting somebody? What does that mean? What the hell is this? I'll be damned if I'm gonna let some glorified fanboy get the last word. I love that. That's Chuck's ending? No. 
I'll be damned if I let some glorified fanboy get the last word. I love that line. I love it. <sighs> they just sound so hopeless. Like hearing Sam say that they're out of ideas and that it's too big for them. Like I just, they sound so hopeless and they need to have hope that they can get through this or else they won't. Having the end screen come up with Supernatural, the final season, and having Chuck say over it, the fans are gonna love it. I want to jump off of a cliff. I want to throw Chuck off of a cliff, even though I know that would do absolutely nothing to him. I just... I'm not prepared. In the slice, I've literally never been less prepared for anything in my entire life. I don't know how to prepare for this final season. The thing is, in the past, going into a new season, we've pretty much always known that if a big main character dies, then they're gonna come back. That's the formula for Supernatural. They kill off a main character to create, like, oh my god, what's gonna happen, and then they bring them back. Nobody ever stays dead on Supernatural. But when going into this 15th and final season, when people die, it's going to be for the last time. They don't have enough time to bring them back. They don't have another season to bring them back. This is the end. I just watched, like, I've, I just finished my entire rewatch. I just watched the season 14 season finale in preparation for tomorrow. And seeing that last, like, 10 or so minutes again with Chuck obviously coming in and ruining everything. Hearing Dean say, this isn't just a story, it's our lives. That line is, sticks with me. Um, and it's stuck with me since I first heard it. And then hearing Chuck say, the story's over, welcome to the end. I just, yeah. This video has been all over the place and I haven't really even talked about much. I just, I needed to sit down and talk about this trailer because my mind has been running in circles a million miles a second. I just, I needed to vent about this trailer because this morning I watched it and my entire world just stopped. I'm just, I'm really not prepared. Um, okay. I, I, I apologize for this very all over the place video. Thank you for watching if you actually did. That's going to be the end of this video. Please let me know down below what you think of the trailer and where you think this season is going to go because I would absolutely love to discuss it with you guys and that's going to be about it. I'm Tegan and I will see you guys next time. Bye!